Every once in a while, Atlassian does something interesting. They bring from data center features to the cloud. Now this particular feature that we're going to be covering in this video is very interesting because it allows you to create different priorities for different projects in your Jira cloud. Today's video is brought to you by NASA, not another stand-up app. The Jira app that lets you customize your daily questions to fit your team's unique needs. Make meetings relevant and productive for all of your team members. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out those links down below. we got the merch store, paid courses, free courses, many different ways that you can help support the channel. Let's jump into Jira and let's take a look at priority schemes. And as I mentioned at the beginning, Priority schemes is actually something that has existed in Jira data center for a very, very long time. And it's not until most recently that Atlassian made this available in cloud. Now, what exactly is priority schemes? Well, in a nutshell, you can essentially create different priority schemes, which basically means you can cherry pick different priority values for different projects in Jira. And it's really, really easy to do. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So you do need to be a Jira administrator to be able to do this, right? You need to be a site or org admin. You're going to click on the gear. You're going to click on issues, and then you're going to make your way down over here on the left-hand side to the priority section. Now, this feature may still be rolling out. Most of you should have it, but in case you don't, again, nothing I can do there, but you should on the left-hand side see priorities and priority scheme. And this is a little bit of a chicken and egg situation. So the way this works is you want to create a lot of priorities, right? You, you're you going to want to create more priorities than you need. Let me rephrase. You don't necessarily just want to randomly create random priorities, right? But your team's going to ask you for explicit priority values, right? Maybe some teams are following like the IEEE standard. Other teams are just going to want to use the out-of-the-box Jira stuff. Other teams are going to want to do custom priorities, right? So let me show you essentially what you're going to do here. So let's just assume we wanted to go with like the IEEE standard, right? So you're going to come in here, you're going to name it major, right? We're going to do major minor uh, just, just for now, just major minor, right? You could do the rest of the IEEE priorities if you wanted to. And so I'm going to do major. You do have to select an image. So we're going to come over here and go, well, this one looks good right here for a major. And then you do need to give it some sort of a priority code. Now these do have to be in hex. So you're going to do hashtag FF, FF, I don't know, 55, whatever that comes out to. I don't know the color, but let's see what we gamble with. And so we got a yellow, okay? And so the color is not as important. You don't really ever see the color, so I'm less concerned about that, but the icon is very critical, and I do wish that last one gave us more icons. But anyways, so here we have the major. I'm going to go in and add the minor, okay? And I'm going to do, again, the same thing. We're going to pick our image. So for minor, I'm going to give it just this icon here, and then I'm going to do hashtag... Um, 5599FF. And let's see what color that gives us. All right, so we got like a bluish color. Cool. So now that we have the priorities, right? So again, you, you want to add more, but you also want to be very, very careful because until you do what I'm explaining in this video, the projects in your Jira are all going to inherit the default priority scheme that shifts with Jira, right? Because again, this is kind of like an afterthought. And so the unfortunate thing about what I just did is that all your projects now have all of these priorities. So we don't want that. So let me show you the next step so we can start fixing this. So the next step is to come back to your priorities. And this time we're going to go to your priority scheme. Okay. And so in your priority scheme, you're going to see that the default priority scheme, which is again, this is how Jira has worked, at least Jira in the cloud, this has worked for years where you just have the, the one priority scheme. And you'll see that everything we have, especially the major minor that we just created, they're all in here and all 43 projects that I have in this instance have it. I'm going to show you how to fix that. But first, what we want to do is we want to make a new priority scheme for the specific project that is asking for the major and the minor uh, priorities. Let me show you how to do that. So we're going to click on add priority scheme up here. We're going to give it a new one. So that's, we're just going to call it IEEE priorities. And then we're going to select the priorities. This is why it's so critical that you have created those priorities because if you don't, if they don't exist already, then Jira is not going to allow you to create them just ad hoc here. They have to pre-exist. So I'm going to pick my major, my minor. I'm going to give it the blocker and medium and then uh, informational, right? Again, these are probably not all the IEEE ones, but good enough for what I need. We're going to click on add scheme. 
And now this project has the ones I need. And we're going to come back over here to the old one. We're going to click edit and we're going to remove these extra ones that I made, right? Because I don't want all my projects to have that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to move these back over to a different priority. So we're going to do that and that for now we'll hit save. Okay. So now at least my 43 projects don't have all of the priorities, right? So now I'm kind of cleaning up and the projects that do want this IEEE ones, they're going to be able to have those IEEE ones. So once you've created the scheme, once you've cleaned up the default one, because this is going to happen the first time, right? When you start adding priorities, the default one's going to get all the statuses. So you don't want this unless you do, right? Unless you intentionally want to add a lot of priorities to a lot of projects, don't do what I just did. But I have a feeling that you're going to want to create the priorities. The default one's going to get them all. So we're going to create a new scheme, put those new priorities into that new scheme. And then we got to go back to the default one and take them out, which is essentially what I just did. Now, once you do that, right, once you do that cleanup, you do all that dancing that I just described, the next step is you want to associate this new priority scheme to a project. So you're going to come over here to add projects, and then we're going to find a project. So in this case, I'm just going to give it to client A and client C. I'm going to click on next. And essentially what we have to do here is map. So these are the priorities that we have today. We're obviously removing some. So now we got to do some sort of a mapping. You may need to sit down with someone from your team so that they can help you do this uh, mapping because it's not something that is like super, super trivial, right? Like you're going to have to take a guess if you're not under their guidance, but I would schedule like a quick 10, 15 minute call with whoever requested the new priorities and go help me map this out. So once you have the mapping, you're going to hit save. I just randomly did stuff and now we can go test it, right? So we're going to click on create. I'm going to be in this project and I'm going to go down to the priority field and you're going to see that the priorities from the default ones are here. But now I'm going to switch over to my client A project, which is one that I applied this new priority scheme to. And you're going to see that my priorities are now different. And as I said, this is a functionality, a capability that has been built into Jira data center forever. And the cloud just finally has it. As you can see, it's super valuable because up until this point, if somebody wanted new or custom priority values, everybody would get them. Or worse yet, you would go off and create variants of the priority field, which really is a very bad way to do this, right? So thankfully, Atlassian now allows us to create these priority schemes, which allows us to reuse that same priority field. But now think of it as adding contexts. So I'm just glad that this finally came out. I don't know why it took at lasting forever and a half to get this out there, but it is there. Go test it out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section. That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you drop that like and also comment down below if this is a capability that you're using and check out the description while you're down there. I got that merch store, those paid courses, the free courses, all the different stuff and especially the links to the sponsors of this video. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one. This video was brought to you by NASA, not another stand-up app. Use it not just for stand-ups, but for any scrum ceremony. One app, many meanings.